This is an Audi A6 Avant 3 litre TDI SE S-Tronic Quattro. Um, it's 2012 on a 12 plate. It has uh, leather and sat nav. It's done 73,343 miles. Um, fuel economy urban 39.2, extra urban 54.3 and combined is 47.9 uh, 60 time of 6.3 seconds a top speed of 151 miles per hour 242 brake horsepower engine and uh, 24 valve service history is pretty complete it's the uh, long life service history you should be able to see it from there two from Audi one done at uh, 22,935 in uh, July 2013. Next one done at 41,675 <coughs> in March 2015 and then 69,582 miles in uh, I presume that's August 2017. So full, full history. I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Keyless entry, keyless ignition. We have two keys for it. to do that before I set off. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. So we're in drive. The ham, when you've got the handbrake on, sorry, when you've got your seat belt on, the handbrake goes off automatically. If you don't have your seat belt on, it won't go off. Gordon Bennett. I think they call it uh, Milano leather. So it's a, kind of a burgundy metallic with black leather. You've got the brushed aluminium checker plate, insets to the dash, gear tunnel, door cards. We've got paddle shift on the steering wheel. You can override the gear changes. If you move the gear stick, gear selector to the left you can also change down like so using that or change up CD radio you've also got the SD cards there one will be for the sat nav the selector button in the middle it's a, a rotary selector. Turn it like so, and you've got four buttons which correspond to the four corners of the display. So if I click that one there, that brings on the map. I'll show you how to set it when we get back. Great engine, very economical. I used one of these in the old road form a few weeks ago. Um, this is actually a slightly smoother ride than the old road and not as harsh. You tend to feel more of the road through the steering wheel with the old road. This is a nice and uh, relaxed and comfortable. The climate control there. Your radio controls, you've got radio, media. Just have a look. If I click there, that will give us the different sources. So it's also showing Bluetooth audio streaming there, which you would just navigate to and click. But at the moment, there's nothing connected. So we'll go back to nav. Silky smooth gear change there. Auto gearboxes are so good these days. And 
plus when I'm driving an auto. I don't get a load of comments about leaving my hand on the gear stick or coasting. <laughs> I can only blame the car. We've got a reversing camera as well. Very quiet. Got memory seats here as well. Two position memory driver's seat. Electrically adjustable. screen between the back seats and the um, load area. The stock parcels flying forward or uh, got a little dog stop and getting on the back seat. Don't think it'd stop a big dog but left hand side of the dash here we've got temperature gauge, rev counter, You've got another display in the middle with uh, digital speedo and then your analog speedo on the right hand side. It's a four wheel drive version as well. Very slippy corner here so. Not good driving by me there, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. We'll go up the M6 today. Multifunction steering wheel here. We've got cruise control just under the indicators on the left hand side. Which you should be able to see from there, that's cruise. So we've got off, cancel, on and resume. So that's, uh, click it away from you and towards you. And up and down to set the speed. Temperature gauge there, uh, outside air temperature. takes off extremely quickly. It's uh, pretty effortless, plenty of torque in this engine, just, uh, just takes off. Set it on 70. Click the end in. Switch the cruise on. Just uh, take it up to 70 with a couple of clicks. Upwards on the uh, stalk. There we go, 70 miles an hour. About 1,650 revs. Oh, actually, it's just crept over the 70 miles an hour there. We must have just been going uphill. That should take it to 70. 1,600 revs. Engine's hardly doing any, any work, and we're uh, 
real big car being plenty of space and luggage being powered up the motorway. Very quiet. Front centre arm, armrest here, a bit of space at the top there, a padded to uh, put your phone and stuff in. And then you've also got another 12 volt power socket in there. You've got one just at the back of the gear tunnel for the rear passengers. And we've got uh, space there and cup holders there. Your radio controls. Keyless ignition switch there. Automatic headlights. Your, uh, headlight controls on the right hand side there. Electric door mirror control. Electric windows and uh, memory seat. Nice driving position, comfy seat. Bluetooth hands free. Great four wheel drive system. Bags of room. Back seats fold down as well. Again, give you increased load space. Sure, this course is going to make it up the hill. Lovely handling. You've got to bear in mind you're in a big car and it's in a state.
like we've got a hill hole there at the back of the uh, electronic parking. Car setup, efficiency, comfort, we'll go for comfort. And then dynamic. You see there, as soon as we turn into uh, dynamic, I'm not moving my foot on the accelerator, but the rev counter shoots up 500 revs, so makes the throttle more responsive. Back to comfort. Centre of the dash there. Control from the menu button here, onboard computer, efficiency program, digital speedometer, cruise control. Let's go to cruise control and select. Speed setting. So that shows what you've got it set for in the in the center. So you can change all that. Onboard computer. Average speed, fuel consumption, driving time, fuel range, date. That's it. Then you've got uh, all of it. Shows it's averaging 33 miles to the gallon, but it has been sat in our garage ticking over, so that won't do it any harm, or any good rather. And also, um, it's showing average speed of 19 miles per hour, so I should have reset that on the uh, on this test drive and give us a more accurate uh, indication. Tells you there what's consuming energy to help you drive more efficiently. I think it's showing there the air conditioning. Excellent. Nobody would have guessed he was going to do that. would certainly eat up the motorway miles. Showing you on the sat-nav there what speed it is on the road that you're travelling along. 